good day everyone. Today, I'm going to discuss with you on how to identify the terminal of the otaris match. First, we're going to identify the equipment and the materials that we're going to use. So we have here the plant meter and the rotary switch. First, we have here the rotary switch, the part of the rotary switch part, the knob. Okay. So we have here also the terminal. So this is part one. Terminal is our line terminal. Okay, so this is the source. We have also the terminal here where where the low speed, uh, medium, and high speed is located, and the air speed and the compressor motor. In this terminal, it has a label. Okay? In this separate one, it has a label 1. In this upper side of the terminal, it is labeled as 2, 4, 6, 8, and 12 terminal. Okay? So it has also a label here that determines the terminal of the rotor switch. We have also here the clamp meter so, and the test pad. So in our clock meter, we're just going to select the ohms in times one position, okay? In times one position, and connect the test front to the clock meter. And then check the test front if there is a deflection, okay? So we have here the table that serves as our guide on identifying the terminal of the rotary switch. So in this table we have the terminal. Terminal 2, 4, 6, 8, and 12 based on this rotary switch label. Okay? So we have also the positioning of the rotary switch. We have the off, pan, low pole, medium pole, and high pole. And then we have also a note here. So in our note, the first one is in fan mode, air swing motor is in on position. Okay? So therefore, in this fan, in this fan mode, the air swing motor is in on position. Next, in low, medium, and high pull, compressor and air swing motor is in on position. So therefore, in this table, the low, medium, and high pull, the Air swing motor and the compressor is in on position. Okay, so let's start. The first, the one test part we're going to put here in this separate terminal, our source or line, and then the other term, the other test part we're going to put here in this other terminal, just like that. Okay, so in our rotary switch, first we're going to rotate the knob in off position. So in off position. The terminal has no deflection, okay? So as you can see here in our meter, there is no deflection in each terminal, okay, in off position. Okay, next, we're going to rotate the knob into fan mode. And now we're going to test each terminal for their deflection. Okay, so we have here the line and the terminal 2. So in terminal 2 it has no deflection. Next in terminal 4. So as you can see here in our meter, the terminal 4 has a deflection. And now we're going to record this here in our table. Now we're going to record in fan mode the terminal 4 has the deflection. So we're going to put a check in our table. Okay, so we're going to continue in terminal 6. So in terminal 6 the it has no deflection in terminal 8 it has a deflection as you can see in our meter okay in our fan mode again in terminal 8 it has a deflection and we're going to put the check then lastly we have here the terminal 12 it has no deflection and now we're going to rotate the knob into low pull Again, in each terminal, we're going to test for deflection. Here, from line 1, in our source, terminal 2. So, as you can see here, in our meter, it has a deflection. And now, we're going to record it. So, in our low pool, the terminal 2 has a deflection. So, we're going to put a check. So, we're going to continue in terminal 4. 
It has no deflection in terminal 6, no deflection. Terminal 8, it has a deflection. And terminal 12, it has also a deflection. Okay, so in our low pool, the terminal 8 and terminal 12 has the deflection. Okay, in medium pool, we're going to rotate the knob. Again, we're going to test the terminal for the deflection. So, we have the source, terminal 2, no deflection, terminal 4 has the deflection, the terminal 6, no, 8 has the deflection, and terminal 12. So, we have here the terminal 4, 8, and 12. Here, in medium cold, the deflection of the terminal is in 4, 8, and 12. 4, 8, and 12. So, lastly, in our high cool, we're going to rotate the knob. We're going to test for the deflection of each terminal. Source, terminal 2, no deflection. Terminal 4, no deflection. Terminal 6 has the deflection. Terminal 8 has the deflection. And terminal 12 has the deflection. So we're now going to record in our high cool, the terminal 6, 8, and 12 has the deflection. Okay, so now we're finished and identifying the terminal. So now we're going to find which terminal here is the fan, the low pole, the medium pole, high pole, based in this record that we have gathered. Okay, so first we have to refer here in our note. As you have read in this row, in fan mode, air swing motor is on. And then next, in low, medium, and high pull, the compressor and air swing motor is in on position. So now this is our keywords here. In low, medium, high pull, the compressor, the air swing is in on. In low, medium, high pull, the compressor and air swing motor is on. So we're going to find here which terminal has the deflection in each range. Okay, in low pull, in medium pull, and high pull. As you can see, in terminal 8 and terminal 12, it has always a deflection. In low pull, it has a deflection. In medium pull, it has a deflection. In, in high pull, it has also a deflection. So now, which of these two is the air swing and the compressor? It's easy to find. Let's proceed to note number one. In fan mode, air swing motor is on. So therefore, in this fan mode, we have the deflection for an A, which is the fan and the air swing. So therefore, A is our air swing motor. So terminal 8 right now is our air swing motor. So therefore, the remaining one, the 12, is our compressor. Now, it is now easy to find the low, medium, and high speed of the fan motor. So let's proceed here in our table. In low pull, since we already know that 8 and 12 is air swing and compressor, so the remaining terminal right now is the low speed of the fan motor. Same as in medium. We already know that 8 and 12 is the air swing and compressor, so the remaining terminal here now is the number 4, is our medium speed. And in high pull, we already know that 8 and 12 is the air swing and compressor, so now is the number 6 is the high pull. We conclude that terminal 2 is low pull, terminal 4 is medium cold, terminal 6 is high cold, terminal 8 is air swing motor, and terminal 12 is compressor motor. That's how you identify the terminal of the rotary switch.